What up everybody? Back again with our volume unit. Today we are going to be finding the volume of irregular rectangular prisms made of unit cubes. Let's open up the box and see what our objective is today. Our objective today, today I will be able to find the volume of an irregular prism made of unit cubes by decomposing it into regular rectangular prism. So let's take a look at a key thought though that we're going to need to understand. All right, our key thought today, our key thought is volume is additive. All right, so what that means is you can add volumes together. It has the ability to be added. That's what additive means. It's just a fancy way of saying that. So to demonstrate this, okay, we have two different regular rectangular prisms and we're going to find the volume of each. So I'm going to find the area of the base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have three layers of eight. So my volume here would be 24 cubic units. I'm just going to go ahead and put CU for right now. And then my volume for this one, I just have a base. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my volume here is eight cubic units. If I took those two prisms and I put them together like this, all I need to do to find the volume of my new prism is to add my blue section right here, which is 24, with my red section right here, which was eight. And when I add that together, the total volume of this shape is going to be 32 cubic units. So volume is additive. Once you find the volume, if you put those two pieces together, all you have to do is add those two pieces together and you'll get the total volume. So this shape right here is made up of 32 unit cubes. So that's what we mean by additive. This prism down here is called an irregular prism. An irregular prism is made up of two or more rectangular prisms. It's kind of odd looking, I guess, is what I picture when I think of something that's irregular. So it's not going to be a perfect prism. It's going to be two or more prisms put together that make up the odd looking prism or the irregular prism. Let's take a look at steps we can use for finding the volume of these irregular prisms. The first thing you want to do is you want to decompose them. That means break them apart and find the volume of each prism. So what I just did was I took two prisms and put them together. That way I could just show you that it's additive. What you're going to be doing is taking that irregular prism and breaking it apart into those two separate prisms. And once you do that, you add the volumes together. And that's the two steps. Pretty simple. So here I have one that could be really tricky for a lot of people. Okay, the question says how many unit cubes make up this irregular figure? So what I want to do is I'm going to break it apart. Now for this one, I'm going to break it apart into the layers. I'm going to take this top layer, all right, and I'm going to figure out the volume of that one first. Now when you do these irregular prisms, you don't have to redraw them separately. You can kind of just shade them in or break them apart with a pencil or pen or whatever using that way you can kind of see the two separate shapes that it's made out of. So this top layer has one, two, three, four, five cubic units that make it up. This bottom layer is where it gets a little tricky. A lot of people just like to count the ones that they see. So they'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and they say this bottom layer has a volume of seven cubic units. That's incorrect because this is not Hogwarts right? Nobody's doing magic here. The, this top layer cannot levitate or float by itself. There has to be something underneath of it. So when you're counting the bottom layer, you don't just always count the ones you see. You have to think to yourself, are there cubes that I can't see? And for this top layer to be here, that means something has to be underneath of them holding them up. So the bottom layer does have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that you can see, but it also has one, two, three, four, five cubes underneath the top layer that you can't see. So the total volume for my bottom layer is 12 cubic units, the seven that you can see, and then the five that you can't see. So when I add those together, the total volume for this prism is 17 cubic units. There are 17 cubes that make up this prism. So for our we do problem, which we're going to do in our notes together, if you don't have your notes, you check out the description of the video. You'll find a link to Google, a Google Doc there that you can either print or make a copy of and write on. It says, what is the volume of this irregular prism? Now there's two different ways to do this. One of them is just following the steps I taught you. And then one of them is thinking outside the box. Let's do the way following the steps first. 
So this one is actually, I would split it into three separate rectangular prisms. You have this little four piece right here, then you have the bigger prism behind it, and then underneath you have a separate prism that's holding everything up. Now you can split these prisms apart any way you want. There's no right way or wrong way to split them up as long as you make sure you don't count cubes twice because sometimes when we don't visually split it up either with a highlighter or a pencil or a pen, we accidentally count cubes twice and then we get the answer wrong. So I've just split it up. Now I need to find the volume of each shape. So my yellow one, let's put Y equals and I can see all of those. That's just four cubic units. My blue prism in the back, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as my area of the base and I have two layers of that. So even though I can't see one of the cubes all the way back in the corner underneath of there, there has to be one holding that up, okay? So I'm gonna have a area or a volume of 16 cubic units. Now, if you notice what I just did, all right, for my yellow one, I didn't use my volume formula right? I just counted the cubes. For my blue one, I didn't want to count all those cubes, so I used my volume formula of finding the area of the base and then multiplying it by the height. There's no wrong way to find these volumes from this, for these irregular prisms. Sometimes it's easier just to count the cubes, and sometimes it's easier and faster to use your volume formula, all right? That's why in the steps, I didn't say use the formula. I said find the volume, because for the yellow one, why would I do two times two? right? I could just count four and I, because I can see all of them. For the blue one, it's a little bit quicker to find the area of the base and multiply by the height. And for the purple one, it's also going to be easier to find the volume using the formula because there's a lot of cubes I can't see, okay? There has to be some underneath the blue and there has to be some underneath the yellow because those can't float by themselves, right? It's not Hogwarts. It'd be cool if it was, but it's not. So for this purple one, what I'm going to do is I'm actually, because I can't even see all of them to count the area of the base, I'm going to use my length and my width and my height to help me find the volume of this. So my length was four, four times four would be 16. That gives me an area of the base of 16. And then I have two layers of 16, which would be 32 cubic units. Now, when I add those together, because volume is additive, I can just add the volumes of each of those prisms. 4 plus 16 is 20, so then I have 20 plus 32, which is 52 cubic units, is the volume of this shape. Now, if that was confusing and you're working through this, please fast forward this next section to the U-Try. If that was pretty easy and understand that, check out this quicker way I could use using thinking outside the box. We know volume is additive, which means it's also part of the addition subtraction fact family. So instead of finding the three different volumes and adding them together, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna picture this whole prism as being full, like this section was never missing. And if I do that, I have a length and a width of four, and I also have a height of four. So if this entire prism wasn't missing cubes, I'd use my volume formula, area of the base times the height to figure it out. The area of the base is gonna be split into length times width, so four times four times four, and my answer is going to be 64 cubic units. So that's what it would be if all of these pieces were here, except now I know that there is a section missing. And I know that section had an area of the base of six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two layers of that, which is a volume of 12. So if I had 64, if it was full, and then I subtract the 12 from this missing section, I know that's gonna give me 52 cubic units, which is, I, which is the same exact thing I got when I was adding all the different pieces together. So that's a more advanced way of thinking about it, kind of using your logic to reason through the question. Either way is fine, all right? And I'm, I'm teaching the easy steps, that way they work for every single question. But if you could visualize that second strategy, you're ahead of the game, that's awesome. So let's do a you try problem. So go ahead and pause the video and you're trying to figure out how many unit cubes make up this irregular prism. My hint to you is I would split this into three different prisms. Once you've solved it, go ahead and push play and we can check your answer. So hopefully you just paused it, you solved it, now you're checking your answer. I'm gonna go ahead and split this apart into three different prisms. If you don't have a highlighter, that's totally fine. I would use a pen or pencil to really make those lines nice and dark. That way you can very clearly see the three different prisms that you had. 
And you could have split it apart a little bit differently, but this to me makes the most logical sense because they're all different heights. But as long as you split them apart and you didn't count the same cubes twice, you can really split these apart any way you want. You could actually just count, you could split it into ones and just count all the cubes, but that'd be kind of silly, I think. So for this, I'm just gonna quickly use my volume formula. I know the area of the base is four. I have three layers of four. Four times three is 12. So my purple part is 12 cubic units. The blue part, I have an area of the base of six, two layers of that, that's gonna be 12 cubic units. And then the green part, I have an area of the base of four and my height was one, two, three, four, five, six. So four times six is 24 cubic units. Now I understand that volume's additive, so I just need to add those together. 12 plus 12 is 24. Add another 24 to that, and you have a total of 48 cubic units that make up this prism. So again, you just followed those two easy steps. You broke apart the irregular prism into separate prisms. You found the volume of each, and then you recognized volume was additive, so you added them back together. Sometimes you use the formula to quickly find it, and sometimes you just counted the cubes, right? Whatever makes it easier for that question. You have to be able to do both. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate you spending your time with Instructed Beats. Check out our awesome volume song. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We would love to have you do that. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We appreciate you. Instructed Beats, out.